D-Lo for, for boxing. All right, y'all. Let's talk about this uh, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. fight one more time. Um, we seen uh, Crawford at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. A um, lot of legends there getting inducted. A lot of guest legends there. A lot of um, Terrence Crawford himself was a guest. So was uh, Sebastian Fundora, um, the towering inferno from the 154-pound division. Um, great evening, a great weekend of festivities over there in Canastota, New York, the International Boxing Hall of Fame. And, um, you know, the biggest takeaway that a lot of fans, a lot of people on YouTube got from the whole event, with all these legends being coronated and shown their appreciation from boxing as a whole, from the writers, from the fans, from their peers, you know, basically three years worth of inductees because of the uh, pandemic holding up the ceremonies for the past couple of years. We got to see all of these, these guys get their flowers. But the biggest takeaway some of y'all had is the fact that most of the guys there picked Terrence Crawford to beat Errol Smith Jr. in their bout. That hasn't, hasn't been, um, announced yet at that and and you know the one thing i'll say about it is it good it's good that they're talking about the fight it's good that at such a prestigious event that the terrence crawford versus errol smith jr fight was being mentioned i personally think that we're very close to getting that fight you're seeing both guys a lot more visible lately there is like without fail they're almost at every time you turn around you're seeing one of the guys at an event. You're seeing someone putting a microphone in their face asking them about the fight. Neither one of them is saying anything against the fight. You know, they're both welcoming the fight. They're both saying, hopefully it gets done soon. They're both saying they don't want to fight anyone else. That's what I as a fight fan want to hear. Now, as for the fighters at the event having their opinion on who they think wins the fight that's their right you know as a as a man as a person you know what i'm saying you look at things and you formulate your opinion on what something is what it looks like what it tastes like what something could be you look at events before they happen and say this is what i think the outcome of that event will be or if this were to happen this is what i think the outcome will be and that's okay um, I know that I have a, a lot of opinions about boxing that other people don't share. I'm sure there's somebody that shares it, but there's others who don't share my opinion and I don't get upset with them. But some of you on YouTube, you, you're coming hard for these Hall of Fame fighters and these legends, the same way y'all come for other YouTubers when they have a difference of opinion from your own. Not everybody is going to agree on who wins this fight. This is a 50-50 pick em type of fight. I have stood firm on who I believe wins the fight for the last several years, but I too have floundered and flip-flopped on who I had winning because initially the person I have winning now, I didn't have winning the fight. So that's just the way it is sometimes. And also I, I see a lot of criticism of James Tony because he doesn't think Errol Smith Jr. will fare well in the fight at all, or at least that's what he's saying. And that, too, is his opinion. You know, there is a such thing as a fight being a pick 'em 50-50 type fight and then the fight not playing out that way, the fight being a blowout. You know, um, one fight that comes to mind for me is... um. Hell, let's let's just look at the rematch between the the Roy Jones Montel Griffin fight. The first fight was a DQ for Roy Jones losing the fight, losing the fight for a fight for the first time versus Griffin. But that was in no way, shape, form, or fashion a one-sided affair. Griffin was in that fight, but then when they had the rematch, Roy Jones blows him out in one round. I'll, I'll, I'll add one more. Tony versus um, Jones. 
That fight was kind of a pick em type fight. But I didn't feel like it was very close. I felt like Roy Jones kind of lightweight dominated the fight. So you can have these fights that are, are supposed to be pick em fights and one guy just runs away with it. And it can happen either way. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm so I don't think James Tony is way off base with feeling the way he feels. Um, or, or stating that he feels the way he feels. I mean, that's his, that's his prerogative. But ultimately, no one has to validate or, you know what I'm saying, have their opinions confirmed or affirmed by others, you know what I'm saying, or approved. That's just your opinion, just like these pound for pound lists. They're our opinions. You know what I'm saying? Just like the rankings. The rankings are the opinions of the people who vote on the rankings. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just one of those things where it's, it's much to do about nothing. I, you know, and, I, and I'm guessing that, you know, this is really a big fight because of all of the stuff, the annoying things that are going on around the fight. So, you know, I'm, th I'm thinking that this is really, this fight is really going to be that big. Because every little thing uh, surrounding the fight is getting blown out of proportion. So I'm hoping that that's an indication that the fight will happen but also an indication that the fight will do well for the sport of boxing. You know, so um, that's my opinion on on it. And, you know, I just feel like, um, you know, instead of arguing and going back and forth and being overly critical of other people because they have a difference of opinion, you know what I'm saying, respect it and move on, disagree, whatever, and, and put yours out there. It's, it's, it's state why you feel that the fight plays out the way you think it will and, 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 and why. But at the end of the day, our opinions aren't going to matter. The only Our opinions aren't getting in that ring. The only two people that will be in that ring other than the referee when that bell rings are the two fighters. And they're going to settle all that in the ring. And I'm sure after it's settled, we'll have something else to argue about um, in terms of the fight. I mean, we've seen guys get knocked out. And, uh, you know, guys get stopped, and there's an argument about that, you know. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. That's all I got on D-Lo 404 Box, and hopefully we get this fight. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.